So each one of these is observing the hopper, and any time there's something in that hopper, it'll send a redstone signal out the back. Then we're gonna take some blocks for support for our redstone. They can be any kind of block you want. And we're gonna connect them all just like that and then go two blocks past. Then take some redstone and connect all of these up just like this. Then we're gonna take one pulse extender, put it right there, a redstone link right there, and make this any frequency you want. Then go back to this pulse extender. It's probably on two ticks. You wanna put it up to two minutes, and that'll give the system enough time to brew anything that is possibly left within it. And finally, there's one more step with this pulse extender. Right click it so that it inverts the signal. Next, let's go back to where our power source is located. Remember this clutch we threw in earlier? That's to turn the system on and off. So we'll put a redstone link right there and we'll put the frequency in there. We use redstone, so it's redstone. And finally, right click it with